For your consideration, the personal views and opinions expressed in this series are those of Stellenbosch students and not the official views of Stellenbosch University or its faculties. I think we have embraced diversity due to the fact that in each faculty now, uh, people are able to learn English as well as Afrikaans. There are different races in each faculty. In our classes, it's a mixed race. Uh, our EDP uh, is for the underprivileged students, so there is a lot of diverse people in our class. It's like from every race you can think of. It's from all over the country. So, And we are, all our classes come in English and Afrikaans, so I don't see the language barrier. Yeah, there, there isn't really like um, in matric when we had a Stellenbosch representative come speak to us about uh, the campus. Uh, they told us like um, you know there are classes available in English and Afrikaans, but I don't know. A lot of us we never believe them because you know Stellenbosch has a history of being only Afrikaans. So it's like I was a bit skeptical coming here, but when I did come here, I saw like all my classes are in English, and you know there wasn't really a problem with the language barrier and the. As far as the race, the race thing is concerned, I don't see racism really at all. Maybe from certain individuals, but that's their own. I mean, I'm friends with a colored crew. It's it. <laughs> <laughs> We're friends with the Durbanites, so. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. stereotypes. <laughs> I always think he's Muslim for some reason, and he's not Muslim. I'm not, then it's just. Yeah, I think maybe uh, maybe like racism exists in those cases, but I don't think it's like in a, in a demeaning. I don't think it's in a demeaning manner that they, they put it. Like they'll they'll assume all of us are Indian, probably not to make fun of us, but because they really think we look Indian. But I think that's the only way like racism exists here on campus. But it's not really like a demeaning thing <laughs> where they're mocking you. I think uh, Stellenbosch used to be like uh, Afrikaans, Afrikaans, Afrikaans. white Afrikaans university, but. I mean, if you just take, just take a walk around, go through the Neil Sea, you'll see that's not the case anymore. Times have changed. Definitely not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think there's a very, it's a very multicultural these days. Um, I think that is a really old stereotype, and I think people need to move it's on from that behind them. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many people of all races and cultures and languages here. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah, I think it's, we've moved into a whole new, at least I would say for our generation, um, that does not hold at all. I think any sort of stereotypes that are still being enforced in terms of that are all coming from like our parents' generation. I know that, at least with myself and my friends, we don't see any sort of cultural grouping, but when when the older generation start kind of getting involved, they start casting comments and and kind of enforcing yeah, race and, race and see, asking, you know, um, is it still an Afrikaans university? Why are there so many English people? I've had parents refer to me as a SOTI and stuff like that, but you know, it's fine, I'll put that behind me, but in general, the students don't. I think if there are any influences, it's from the older generations who are kind of stuck in the past. I think, I think we will, but I've been here for the last eight years, and I've seen transformation happen. And like, so when I came here, like, there was very little, you can say, people of color, so compared to eight years later where it's more inclusive, look at, I mean, the, the best example of being inclusive is right here, Aurora PSO. If everyone can be, strive to be Aurora, then Salabas will be beautiful. Advertising. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, transformation will eventually happen, you know, but obviously there are still going to be people in the future that will feel that it hasn't been transformed enough. So it's probably going to be like an endless struggle, but it will be a lot better 10 years from now than it is at this exact moment, you know? Yeah, I agree. Transformation will happen, but transformation is a process that happens over a period of time. You have to be patient and wait for it to happen. It won't happen immediately. I mean, if you're going to force it, you're going to end up having a civil war. Exactly. I mean, yeah. no one wants that. Yeah. And I just believe with transformation as well that we shouldn't try to further our own causes by putting others down and whilst tram trampling on others. Mm -hmm. But it will happen eventually. Hopefully soon, but I believe it will. Viva transformation! <laughs> Viva Aurora! Viva! I think the way... Yeah, I think these... These, we, we, we have come a, a long way um, in transformation, but forcing, forcing an issue is not a solution. You're just going to alienate another group. 
So unless we're not going to sit around the proverbial table and talk about stuff, we're not going to achieve success. But forcing an issue alienates another group, and then we force another issue alienate another group, and at the end of the day, we're doing more backward steps than forward steps. But I think what's good about the discussion with all these like uh, topics or controversies or things that are going on is that because they are so big and causing debate amongst groups, I think it's not like one group is dominating the other one will sit down and responds to it. There's more of a chance that a compromise will be found. So I think it's good that there's dialogue about it. Um, and yeah, so it's a good thing for Stellenbosch towards transformation to find that compromise and to find a balance between uh, two different groups or more than two groups. So I think it's a... So it takes time, but I think it's on its way there. I was born in 18, oh, 18, 1989, geez, that would be long ago, 1989. And I can't even speak about apartheid because you don't know what it is. So at the moment, I think it needs to take another, it's going to be another one or two generations before we can really stamp authority on what needs to be happened and find a compromise. Um, but it's always going to be an issue in South Africa with our history. It's still young, we're still a young democratic country. But um, yeah, I, I think a lot, a lot of people want to put their voices up that they actually have no clue what happened back in the day. And there's no background to it. It's like only hear it from their parents and their parents' parents and, and so forth. So The thing is, people aren't focusing on the transformation. They're focusing on the issues at hand. Yeah. They're focusing on what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong. The more they focus on that, the more they're going to fight. If they focus on a transformation, you focus on, focus on a positive outlet, you're going to find it. So instead of focusing on the problem, focus on the solution. That's pretty much the guess. That's how, that's how we roll in Sun and Bosch, eh? <laughs> Focus. Baby steps. Baby steps, yeah. Baby steps. Focus, focus, find a solution. Diversity is a bio-great ideology, but it's not practice mentally. We must be so ehrlich. And in our school, so it's met a new age, and for the youngest school, so it's that we have to do what we have to do for the Afrikaans and English. What for the other nine countries in South Africa? How can we be diverse for us in our land, and not just cater for our elf talent, but also for people outside South Africa? Dit is niet praktisch moeilijk niet. Um, so, dit klinkt als baie goed en jongens is een bilingual universiteit en als klinkt baie goed op papier, maar praktisch ons het niet zit, dan voor dit niet zo niet. Ja, ik weet niet, dit voel, of is dit soos nie meer, soos jy gesê het, um, net een Afrikaanse wit universiteit nie. Hier is definitief baie um, ander kultuur en goed, wat my fantastisch is, want elke dag, soos jou swat, jy krijg nie net jou graad nie, jy, Letterlijk, jij leer so baie aan jou goeders, soos in, in elke dag, alle dagse gebeurtenisse en goeders. Um, soos jy ontmoet redig die coolste mense en um, ek denk, jou kultuur selfs, soos die vorm uh, uit Amelse kultuur, vorm ons half soos in Stellenbosch Universiteit kultuur. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel.